My name is Dr. Junaid Khan. I'm a cardiac surgeon in Oakland, California. I've been in practice uh, about 15 years. I've done uh, over 10,000 heart surgery operations in my career. Of those, thousands have been minimally invasive valve operations. Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com. I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Janad Khan. Dr. Khan, what attracted you to the field of cardiac surgery? Well, you know, I've been attracted to it for a long time. When I was in eighth grade, my dad took me to an animal lab at UCLA. We got to see it, a heart actually beating and he gave different drugs, and the heart beat faster, beat slower, and I thought it was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. What is a heart murmur? A heart murmur is irregular flow of the heart. The best analogy is if most people have seen a river. When a river is nice and smooth, you hardly ever hear it, it's silent. However, when it hits a rock, or when it goes through a tributary, all of a sudden you hear a lot of noise. Well, well that rock in the middle is really what a murmur is. If the valve is blocked or if the blood is going backwards, you hear that murmur just like you would hear the rapids in a river. Dr. Khan, what causes a heart murmur? The most common causes really are a blockage in a valve, like an aortic valve, either due to calcium or just sort of over a period of time the valve degenerates and it becomes blocked. Accelerated flow through that valve will actually cause the murmur or the abnormal sound. In the mitral, it's usually the other way around. What happens is either the mitral valve is like two trap doors. There's some hinges. Either the hinge will break, and all of a sudden the valve will start leaking. That leakage is what causes the murmur. Dr. Khan, can heart murmurs be harmful to the patient? You know, when you have a heart murmur, it's something you want to have your doctor check out. Some heart murmurs can be really quite benign. People have known they've had heart murmurs their whole lives. They just need to be followed. A new heart murmur certainly needs to be checked out by your doctor because it could require surgery. Do you specialize in any type of heart valve surgery? The only thing that I'm most interested in is minimally invasive valve surgery. I do both aortic valve surgery and minimally invasive mitral repair. And when we talk about minimally invasive, we typically think sternotomy is a significant size incision. What are the incision sizes that you make when you do a minimally invasive procedure? I think that's a key difference because I think most people think about a sternotomy. That's how most operations are done in the United States, but it really disrupts the chest wall and patients are off for a long time. What we do is we make a small incision in the right chest, under the right breast for the mitral, above the right breast for the aortic, and with that small incision, we can repair the mitral valve and replace the aortic valve. The real advantage of that is the patients actually get back to their activities of daily living much sooner. They can drive, play golf, whatever they want to do much sooner. Are heart murmurs medically or surgically treated? A heart murmur by itself really needs to be further delineated as to what's causing the murmur. Some murmurs really require no attention whatsoever except follow-up. Some require urgent surgery. So it's really an expert looking at the murmur, looking at an ultrasound of the heart to decide what needs to be done. For all the patients out there who have been diagnosed with a heart murmur, what would you say are your top pieces of advice for them? You know, the most important advice I have for patients that have a heart murmur is to have it checked out. And patients who have severe murmurs and actually severe leakage, they really need surgery sooner rather than later. I think the biggest mistake some of these patients made, particularly with mitral regurgitation, is they're actually feeling fine. And they tell themselves, I'm going to wait till I'm sick before I have surgery. That's the wrong answer. You want to have surgery before you get sick if you have severe leakage.